It is Monday, October 4th. The ES is 43.37, minus 6.5, minus 0.15%. Pre-market volume is 322 over the average of 312. Um, overnight range is 47. So we still have a lot of volume and um, pretty good overnight range. Looking at the uh, past couple days, um, we broke lower came into this area, created a new balance, tried to take out, um, tried to extend the range, but uh, failed. And now we've come back into it in the overnight at least. Here's your overnight low and your overnight high. I've got some areas marked. Obviously, Friday's low, Friday's high are gonna be important. This one, two, three, four day range, um, is, is obviously important. Looking over at the VIX, VIX is up one, up 5% at 22.23, still within the Bollinger Bands. But um, it seems like the VIX is now trading in this elevated range pretty consistently, which to me just suggests that we could have range expansion and even if it's inside a, the daily range, that uh, the range can be large and uh, the moves intraday can be pretty, pretty drastic. Just kind of looking, taking a step back here. See the monthly had an inside month, I mean, sorry, outside month closed down. Um, October hit, traded back into it. We'll see if that sticks, but we are now one time framing down on the monthly. Weekly is also down. We uh, last week just took out the prior week's low and then came back in to settle within it. Now we've sort of bounced back into it. We'll have to see how this resolves. And um, I mean, the indicators are suggesting more downside, but we do have support here on the daily. Got a five bar down. We went inside, broke heavily down, and then took it out on Friday, took out the lows, came back in. And now looking at uh, a little bit more closely at the overnight, So here was Friday, came down, sold down, found a low and uh, right above prior week's area, or right below it, I should say, and then came back in. And as the new money hit for October at around 1130-ish, uh, you had to be very careful shorting and it just went, went up from there. A little bit of a short squeeze. Now in the overnight, um, Sunday market sold off after that run up and now has come back in to the middle area. So we're almost in the middle from the overnight high to the overnight low. And what I'll be looking for is basically I want to see if the ATR breaks a current direction to go test the overnight high up here, the overnight low. Uh, since we're trading right at VWAP, it could get choppy, so I'm going to need to get more confirmation. But when you're in the middle of the range here from the overnight, there is a potential for a move 10 points up, 10 points down to go test one of those levels. So we'll see how this plays out. So the market opened, bounced for just the first minute candle, and then... Here's a second one. It broke the ATR and shot up. So I followed my plan. I got long and um, I went big because of the volatility and because of the very reliable stats on this uh, early morning opening range break. So first trade of the day was successful, entered at 9.31.13, exited at 9.31.25. So that was 12 seconds for four and a half points and um, i'm up on the day a little over a little under two thousand right now at the moment 
Now, after that initial run up, we're coming back to test this VWAP and, and, um, and the ATR. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna give this just a minute I want to make sure that thing sets. This is the uh, opening range low on the one minute, and I'm, I'm literally just going to wait for this bar to close because if this goes, the overnight low is um, one of the targets much lower. Okay, so we did get a confirmation on that. I'm going to enter this one contract at a time and um, I'm just going to wait. I don't need to rush into this trade, so I'm just gonna give it a minute. But that entry at 37 would have been the right one for the first. See if we can stay below the open. And it's 936, so this is 936 and 937 is usually a pretty, pretty normal period for some market um, back and forth, market rotation. And this ATR may not work. It may just chop all in this range. So I'm going to pause it here. We'll see how it plays. Okay, now it's 940. We've got an inside bar on the five-minute um, chart. And uh, could look for a break of that, that low as the entry with the stop probably at mid at 38. So that's what it's looking like is about to happen. And I'll go ahead and take this trade as it breaks through. All right, so we're breaking through. And I just entered at um, 433250. Um, I'm, I'm using a target of six points, and I'll explain why in just one second. So singles fill right here. And if all they wanted to do was fill the singles, then this is going to rip straight back up. But if they want to get back into this lower volume area and distribution from yesterday to, to go test the overnight low, these singles aren't going to hold. So we'll find out here in just one minute. So my stop needs to be about the mid. Um, I've got it just in front of that. Not, you know, I'm not spending a lot on this trade and it needs to, excuse me, it needs to work pretty quickly. We do have support here at um, Thursdays point of control, volume point of control, I think, although it doesn't show it on this chart. I think I, oh, that's another, that's Thursday, not Friday. This is Friday here. Okay. So, um, that's the trade. I'm going to pause it here and we'll see how it plays. So we're getting some positive price movement. I've got my target one point above Friday's point of control. There could be um, a bounce here, and uh, I want to go ahead and lock in a 10-point trade there. Now, you see contracts lining up. My trade management moves my stop to plus 0.25 because if you've gone four points, I mean, it's I don't know if it's proper trade management to let this thing go to a loser, you know. So um, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, and if it comes back and stops me, uh, I can always re-enter the trade, but maybe I'll, I'll put it at 34.50, let it give it some time to play out because I'm going for a pretty big target, a 10-point target on this trade. Taking a look at the price action here. I'm only in this one contract too. So you can see we took out this break of the uh, five minute bar and that we're coming down into uh, the second 15 minute time period and you see contracts already lining up to buy right around ease high from friday 27.50 right above ease high so we'll see what happens here I'm gonna pause this for just a minute. Okay, so this is sort of the do or die period where you decide whether you wanna stay in the trade or, um, or kind of trail a tighter stop. Because if this runs back up, I could go to a loser on a trade that was originally 
you know, down to here, $275 winner. And this is also the issue with trading only one contract. I mean, you're all in, you're all out. It's, it's much more risky. So scaling in so that you can take some profits is um, going to be easier on your psychology, but maybe even better for your uh, profitability. It depends on the, the win rate, time of day, expected move, and all that. So I'm already up pretty well on the day, so I've got some money to play with, which is not the total justification for this, but the other idea is how many blue bars have we seen coming down? We've only seen one, and where did it stop at my red line trail stop? So now, first touch of the rail line was, red line was uh, a good sign that this may go lower. So instead of yapping so much, I'm going to go uh, back over to the charts and monitor this, and we'll see how it, how it plays out here. Okay, the good news is that the second 15 minute bar did not result in a complete retracement of this move down. It got above my red, red line trail stop, but uh, I, I have not moved my stop yet. I may move it now to break even because at 9.55 to, to 10 a.m., if this doesn't hit my target, then I'm probably going to close it, wait for the B, uh, B trade to set up, and then see how it plays out. So I'm um, going to pause it here, and we'll see how it plays. All right, so it came up from the bottom, hit my stop at break even. Um, it, you know, it's so difficult to try to run these trades uh, to, to manage a runner. And um, I've got to try to improve here. It's still not as good as it is I need to be. So we're going to see if a B trade sets up. And, you know, obviously I shouldn't have moved my stop to break even, but uh, the thing had moved almost, what is that, five, six points. So, all right, next trade. Okay, B period just opened, and we opened or A period closed below the market open. So the, the stats suggest by the end of the day, we'll take out this low, but we first could go all the way up, take out the overnight high, take out all the highs and come back down. So you, you can't trade it, trade just based on that stat. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna let B period open. I'm not selling the mid, I'm not gonna do an ATR deflection. I'm just going to give it a minute and see what happens. Now, if this ATR breaks and we continue back toward the morning trend, if I do want to take it, I'll take it small size. Um, if I do, if, if we start to break down, then I'll get on board. All right. We are breaking down. So I'm going to sell this small um, 22 and change. Let me see what the entry was. 43.27, not going for too much on this, and I only took it small size in case that's all they wanted. Don't even know if they broke it. I'm gonna have to take a look there. Okay, stop needs to be, let me see. 36.25, so we just touched A's low. I don't like it. All right, the high of this bar is 30.50. That's where I'm gonna put the stop for now. So that's six, I think six points on this trade. Five and a half. No, three and a half. All right, a three and a half point risk for now. Let's see if it gets some movement. Let's see if we can break A's high, A's low. All right, so I just got my first target down here. Um, I really want to go, well, 22 is a good spot for this. Let's see if they hit this at 22 which 2250, I believe, was my prior target. All right, and I'm, I got that. So both targets met on the B trade, and I'm happy with that for now. We'll, you know, this 
my, my real target probably should have been the overnight low because if this gets moving, it's it's going to go there and it's going to flush all of the people who got long this morning. But uh, I'm happy with that setup, and um, I'll look for the next trade now. One note about missing another 1005 trade. Um, because this break occurred within the first five minutes, the 1005 trade set up, and the opening of the 1005 bar was 43.19. So your entry would have been, if you'd followed it to the T, would have been 43.19. Where is it? Yeah, open 43.19 right here. This would have been your open 19. Stop would have been a minimum two points. So 17, we got as low as 17.75. And then you'd hold it up to A's high. Um, I need to I need to take those trades when they set up. I keep forgetting to do that. Well, that's it for me today. I made twenty five sixty eight on the day. Very happy with that. And um, if you like this, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And we'll try it again tomorrow. Thank you.